that's two million and fifty three on to two million and fifty four. Ah, Gorman, I have some great news. I have found the location of your brother's murderers. Really? H how did you figure it out? Uh, Stephen Keene actually gave me the idea. The two of us did meth in a tent out in the woods. Anyways, while we were sitting there, the answer just came to us, like in a vision. Please, follow me and I'll show you. Wait, are, are you on meth right now? Probably. Come on, I'll show you. Fine. Well, Trap, the answer lies right through that door. All right, I'm ready to know. I need to know. April Fools! Ha <laughs> ha, I got you! Seth, what the hell is going on here? It was all an April Fools Day prank, Gorman. I'm not really dead. An April Fools Day prank. Do you realize how much pain I have been in for the last two months? And you're telling me now that this was all just some huge prank? Please, allow me to explain myself. I didn't want to fake my own death, but there's been some problems at the Fireside Tales. A few Dark Souls were angry because I gave them an overdue library fun and they were coming to kill me, so they thought I'd better just go into hiding. I would have told you, but it's procedure here not to tell even the family members. I am sorry, Gorman. I wouldn't have done this unless I had to. Well, I suppose if you really had to do this, I can understand. But, look, let's talk about it when we get home. Wait a minute. If you faked your own death, why did you ask me to pretend to be you in your will? Uh, I forgot I specified that in the will. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that. But l look on the bright side. At least I got rid of those dark souls. Seth Lewis, you thought that you could fool us, but we have been fooling you. Wait! not dead. Why am I not dead? Hold on. I think I know what's happening here. No! <laughs> Greeting, my friends. You're probably wondering who I am. And the truth of the matter is, you actually know me, although you may not realize that you know me. And I certainly know you. I've known you all your life, ever since you were born. For all of you who aren't aware, my name is the Man in Black. I am in control of all the scientific formulas, the mathematical equations that govern this universe and make it beautiful, keep things making sense, as they would say. And you all are my wonderful army, the creatures that make sense. Ugh. It wasn't easy to make things this way. The man in grey has tried to kill me numerous times. And you're all probably asking yourself, why am I letting Seth Lewis live? He was supposed to die. He was supposed to be shot down by those gunmen. Well, I wanted Seth Lewis to die. I wanted all of them to die, including Gorman, as his time was due. But sadly, there's, there's a little bit of um, trouble in that situation. If Seth Lewis dies, then the Man in Grey will take over the universe. It's a very long story, and it has a lot to do with that book, Captain Crooked's. But that is just the way things are, so he will have to live. For the moment, at least. I'll get around to killing him, too. And I must say, you all are probably thinking to yourselves that you're maybe a little bit afraid of me. It's perfectly normal, I understand. But the truth is that the world just wouldn't work with the Mad and Grey in control. And yes, I may bludgeon you to death. I may watch your, your blood soak the carpet. I might torment your children. I might kill your family, your friends. But 
creature like me is needed in this world. I am the certainty, the truth. And I refuse to die. I refuse to let another universe take my place. It's against my nature. So, you're just stuck with me. Thank God for the man in grey, the man in white, my mother nothingness, the grim reaper, all of them. But in the end, it can only be me. Perhaps we will see each other again very soon. But for now, forget. <laughs>